Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to adjust your Steam Store filters. So in order to do this, let's open our store and then move to the feature. Now hold your mouse under your store button, like this. From here find preferences. Now in the preferences you'll be able to adjust the filters of your store. So you can choose uh, product types, include the following types of products in my store. So if you want to, for example, see only early access titles, you can uh, do that. Just choose whichever uh, settings right here you want to use for the product's visibility. You can also adjust miniature content, so you can uh, set up the store if uh, your, your kid, for example, be using it, or a specific um, things visible. So let's let me actually enable everything here. You can exclude tags from your visibility. So if you want to add tag for example anime, you don't want to see these games with a tag, that tag on it, you can do that. You can see your ignored products, the list of products that you've added to your ignored list and they won't be visible uh, for your Steam store. You can of course uh, remove them by play it on another platform or click on this X button next to it. You can review score settings and uh, you can edit preferences for it. So let's actually exclude like this. So off topic review activity is ex excluded from the review score of games by default. You can learn more about this uh, times periods are selected by reading our Steam blog post. Current setting exclude off topic review activity from review score. So I think I'm gonna cover this in another, another video because that's a more complicated thing and I'm just gonna cover an entire video on it. There's also search options you can customize, so you can customize on how search items are displayed here. Hide items in my library, hide ignored items, hide items on my wishlist, enable infinity scroll when searching. So that's, that only counts for search options, so if you're using the uh, keyword search. There's also community content preferences, which you can change, and here there's violent and sexual content. Some user-generated content may not be appropriate for all audiences, and will be blurred by default. You can change the warning preferences below. Blur and warn about content that may contain frequent violence or go, or blur and warn about content that may contain frequently frequent nudity or sexual content. And you can uh, enable or disable both of the settings and that uh, that's ki some kind of warning before you'll be able to see a product that has uh, one of these. Uh, there's also chat filtering. Some inappropriate language is filtered and uh, obscured in Steam and supporting games. You can change your chat filtering preferences below. So language preferences. Filter strong profanity and slurs with, uh, like the, it will change some words that are not appropriate and uh, or are profanity with uh, this icons like that. Allow strong profanity but filters filter slurs. Do not filter strong profanity or slurs. You can change this to whichever you want. And there's also user group preferences, do not filter text from my Steam friends. Or you can either disable or enable that. Additional custom filtering words. So here you'll be able to pick and add custom words that you don't want to get uh, to be visible for, for example, if you're, as I mentioned, setting up this platform for your kids. You can upload entire lists or download lists you're on your own in order to set, a, set it up on other devices as well. Here, if you hide or unhide these words, you'll be able to clear them from uh, this list. There's also discovery queue preferences. Here you'll be able to customize your discovery queue and new on a Steam queue separately to exclude types of products you aren't interested in. Select a queue to customize discover queue or new on Steam. So just select one of them and customize on how you're gonna discover your queue 
of games or if uh, you have a queue new on Steam. There's also platform references and here you'll be able to pick which system you're using. So for example I'm using only Windows, I don't have Mac or SteamOS and Linux, uh, so I see only games that are visible on and playable on Steam. Of course you can select any of this and the games with this tag should be visible. Here's the Steam Deck preferences and that counts for a Steam Deck, so I'm not gonna cover that, but just that's just only one option which is asking me for feedback. There's also broadcast references and uh, live broadcast. Developers can choose to stream live video content directly to their Steam product pages. Hide all live broadcasts on the Steam product pages. So if you browse any games and uh, see uh, live broadcast and you actually want to hide it, you can do it right here. And uh, that's all of the filters for uh, preferences on store for the Steam. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.